We are living in a war zone. We are living in a situation of a civil war. We are not living in a crime situation. Uh, gang violence is happening, drugs have been sold, young kids have been used as runners. We know in this particular area and right across, youngsters have been shot, they have to run the gauntlet to school. And we cannot allow our mothers and kids to be held ransom by these criminals. There seems to be a turf battle between different security providers. There are all these protection rackets that run around the nightclubs. We think we are seeing linkages now between these criminal transporter syndicates and and the Cape Flats gangs. Now that is an alarming concept. If there is a, a growing relationship there, and if linkages have been established in the relationships between somebody like Jerome Boyce and, and Mark Liffman, then I think we're in very serious trouble. We are looking at a variety of things like renter cops, adding more police officers instead of private security. If we don't intervene, Cape Town is heavily dependent on tourism, domestic and international. You will get to a situation where, where people will, will disinvest, where jobs will be lost. We can ill afford to lose a single job. We are ready for criminals. There's no criminal that can outgun us. We've got uh, killer machines. If they want to test us, we will finish them. And they must understand that uh, when we say that, we mean business. With Fakile's comments, we hope that something comes of it. We hope that it translates into measurable improvement. Better resources pushed into the Cape Flats area. So you need to see the arrest, you need to see the convictions. Otherwise, um, you will not engender public confidence. We will bring the, the situation under control. Mm -hmm.